So I think most of us saw the open AI demo um, of operator where they open AI demonstrated their um, uh, computer use web browser use a tool called operator so operator is a, a very confined web-based agent um, it's most, mainly focused on end users and focus for distribution to get more people to use it but what really interested me from that demo from OpenAI was the KUA model, computer use agent model. And this is a model that they um, specifically developed for computer use. Um, and so I found this fantastic GitHub project by OpenAI that allows you to build your own operator running locally on your machine, except for the KUA model that obviously runs in uh, the open AI cloud. So basically what this little project does, it makes use of, gets user input, it makes use of the uh, open AI core model. It's got a computer, it does computer use tool call, performs that, there's some application code and some kind of action. So what's interesting, it opens a browser um, and then it uses screenshots to send back to the core model and also then to interact with with your um, your um, browser graphic user interface. Something I find interesting that's different from this project compared to to other uh, like browser use the browser use project and other projects is seemingly um, open AI do not make use of bounding boxes for text and for buttons or action points that which are numbered but it seems like they map the coordinates of the actual screen. And as I've said many times before, the best way to learn something and understand something is to actually build a prototype. So in this article, I'll show you the practical example just now, but in this article that's on Substack and Medium, I do a basic walkthrough of, of how it looked. It looks, um, I just ask compound questions. So I ask the model to um, check the weather in Cape Town, Dar es Salaam, and also get the Apple stock price for me. So it opens this Chromium browser on your machine, and then via, I use a MacBook, so via MacBook terminal, you can um, install the software and run it. There's no other special software or licensing required. The only thing you require is your OpenAI API key. Uh, which I just set as an environment variable. And you can see how it interacts in this short video in the article, um, you know, maps the coordinates and, and does the search. Um, so I've shown you this diagram. So basically all you need is, is terminal, the terminal application. Uh, but if you use any development tool, there will be a command line applications in, in there as well. Again, I create a virtual environment uh, via the command line. Um, that just keeps it all nice and tidy. No other projects are impacted or your OS. And you can just easily delete um, the virtual environment. I just go through the very basics, how to clone the, um, the GitHub um, repository, also how just to set up security um, so you can you know, run that command. There's a nice tutorial by, good, by GitHub in this link. Then I step through, um, once you've done the, the, the clone, this file structure is there. You just run the pip install requirements. Uh, so you'll see the requirements file uh, came via the, the, the clone um, command. So you just pip install uh, requirements text file. This is where I uh, set my open AI key as an environment variable. Um, so I didn't bother with setting up any um, environmental file or something like this. And this is the command to run um, the Kua uh, AI agent for for browsing um, and then what's interesting so once you've done that there's a greater than sign that pops up new page is created so the once you, you run it the um, web page pops up and then you can interact and ask your uh, you know your bot questions um, I've asked it some questions there um, and it goes off um, you can alt tab between your terminal window and your Chromium browser and you will see how it uh, steps through the process. Something I find interesting that if you go to your OpenAI uh, dashboard where you keep your logs, etc., you will see that the Kua model interaction 
actually sits there. And if you open one of the entries, you will see the screen grab, the um, the model, uh, the application performed, um, and also the, the screen grab is the input, and you'll see the the actual output, how it um, you know read the information from the screen. So there are two aspects here. The one aspect is how it in a sense a command to a website um, and navigate to a website, and then there's a second uh, element of how the model just gets the information back. I think getting the information back is not the hard part. Um, uh, I think any, any, any model with uh, image capability can actually do that. But I think the challenge is to, to navigate the website, get the right page you want to screenshot, understand it's the right page you want to screenshot, and then send it um, down to the model. So I've got this um, application you can find here. Oh, sorry, rather this um, article you can find on Medium or Substack. So here's a, a view of my, my dashboard in OpenAI. Um, my traces, my logs, and you'll see here the, it, it looks different. Um, where it actually got, got the output. You can see the different uh, steps here. So it's got click, wait, click, click, wait, screenshot. So, um, so you can think of the click and the, and the type and the key press as, and the wait as, as different actions. Um, so if I open the, the wait um, step or log, right, so you, you'll see that the, the entry has been um, entered there. And there's a wait process, obviously, waiting for the information to come back. Um, if you go to, uh, to the type log entry, um, so you can see the website was opened and um, and the type is the text in, into this Apple stock price based on my query. What's the current Apple stock price? Let's just look at key press as well. Um, so you can see a key press as well. You know, it was Dar es Salaam weather was input. Uh, that was one of the queries I had in my compound query. And you can see the next step is now to press enter to act, execute the search. Um, and it, for me, this is hugely satisfying just running this locally on, on my machine. So this is the basic, um, um, you know, the way it's, it's shown in the logs, the interaction with the Kua model. So here's the actual screenshot and it comes back and it says the, the current weather in Cape Town is uh, sunny, uh, while the weather in Dar es Salaam is partly sunny and the current stock price of Apple is at this, right? So that just answers the full, you know, compound question uh, I posed to the agent. So the interesting thing here is that, um, you know, it, it's compound, it detects all the different intents and answer those. Um, I must say it, it takes still, it takes quite a while. So um, it takes quite a while to to step through the web page, working on, on screenshots. Um, I think any technology where the screen is streamed, it will be much easier. But working on screenshots, capturing it, sending it, um, that, that does take some while. But the way the, um, the agent can interact with uh, the browser is quite impressive.